This is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how you can create this geometric pattern using Adobe Illustrator. And I'll be showing you how to create this in a way that it could be repeated infinitely uh, for use as a background on a website or however else you'd like to use it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here in Illustrator. I'm going to create a new document starting out at 1280 by 1280 pixels. Go ahead and click Create. And from here, we just want to set up our documents that we're all working with a similar workflow. Uh, over here, where it says uh, we had we, we got the uh, foreground and background color, I'm going to click this red X right here to turn that off, and then I'm going to flip them around with this little icon right here so that we have black as the uh, fill color, and uh, no no stroke fill there. And then up here, I want to go to View. Uh, I want to make sure. Let me deselect Snap to Pixel. The only thing I want selected from the View menu here is Smart Guides and Snap to Point. So make sure everything else is dis uh, disabled and you have these two enabled right here. And then from Window, uh, we're just going to want to make sure we have color selected so we have this color menu open over here. I also have the, uh, the Stroke menu open and the uh, Align menu, but we're not going to need those for this tutorial. I don't think so anyway. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started here. Uh, I'm going to come up here to where the squares and rectangles tool is. I'm going to click and hold on that so we get the little flyout menu right here. And I'm going to choose the polygon tool. And I'm going to bring the cursor over to the canvas and I'm going to click and drag to create a polygon. And then I'll hold Shift and Alt so that it creates it proportionally like that. And I want to make it about, make it about that big right there. And I want to take the opacity of this and bring this down roughly in half. It doesn't have to be exactly in half, just somewhere thereabouts is pretty good. And then I'll grab the select tool. And I'll bring the cursor outside the top right corner over here so we get the rotation uh, cursor. And I'll just rotate that around. I'm going to hold shift while I'm doing that. And I'm going to rotate it around until we have uh, the corners going vertically like that, up and down. If you notice here where the cursor is, it says it's 270 degrees. So go ahead and rotate that to 270 degrees. And then we should have it like that where all of the both the corners are going up and down vertically like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a copy of this by holding alt and clicking and dragging like that. And then I'm going to hold control, grab this corner, and snap it onto this corner right here. And I'm going to create another copy by holding alt and clicking that. Hold control, grab this corner right here, click and drag it right into that corner right there. And again, I'm going to create another copy, hold alt and click, hold control, click and drag this corner into this corner right there so that we have those three objects aligned into each other like that. And what I want to do now is grab the, uh, the Shape Builder tool, which is over here. I'm going to click on that. I want to click and drag over all of these. Oh, you know what? Let me go back to the Select tool. You have to select all of them first. I'm going to click and drag over all of these objects. And then I will click on the Shape Builder tool. And I want to hold Alt and click on this box right there to get rid of it. And I get, I'll do the same thing up here with these two boxes. We want to hold Alt and click to subtract them. And now I just want to regular click the insides of these three boxes. Click that once like that click that once like that and then click that once. We're not holding anything on the keyboard, we're just, just a regular left click there. And once we've done that, we can go to the select tool. Let's click off of the graphic to deselect everything. I'm going to select just this box right here and I'm going to make this green. And then I'll take this box up here, I'll make this blue. And then I'll take this box right here and I will make this one red just so we have three different colors there. And what I want to do next is hold shift Click on, the, click on the green box and hold shift, click on the red box so we have them both selected. Hold alt and click and drag them up like this. And then grab the, uh, come up here to, to outside the top right corner until we get the rotation handle like that. And rotate it around like that and then hold shift so it locks it vertically like that. And then hold control, grab this node, snap it onto the corner of this node right there. And what I want to do next is rotate that around again by going up here to the rotation icon, rotate it around, hold shift, snap it right there. And then I want to hold shift and click on this blue box beneath it so that we have this green box, this red box, and this blue box all selected. I'll go back to the Shape Builder tool, which is over here, and I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag through here like this. I just want to delete those areas. And once we've done that, we can go back to the Select tool. I want to take this object here and make a copy of it. I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag that. And what I want to do now is rotate this by 120 degrees. To do that, I'm going to come over here to the, uh, if, you, if you click and hold over this icon right here, it should be the rotate tool by default, but I had the reflect tool selected. You can just press R on the keyboard and it'll grab the rotate tool for you. And what we're going to do is, I'm going to double click this icon right here so we get this little fly up menu. And I want to rotate it by a predetermined 
number of degrees and I'm going to use 120 degrees so just go ahead and type in 120 there go ahead and click OK and that's what we're looking for I'm gonna make this green I'm gonna make that object green let me go back to the select tool let me take this green box press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that I want to take this green object right here I want to go to object um, transform reset bounding box and then I'll hold control grab this node right here and snap this into the inside here like that and I'll take this red object press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that and again we'll create another copy of this by alt clicking it and I'll make this one red and now I want to reflect this vertically so I'll click and hold on the uh, rotate tool until we get this flyout menu and we could select the reflect tool or you could just use the keyboard shortcut which is O and once we've done that I'm just gonna click and drag like that I'm gonna hold shift until it's uh, it goes negative 90 degrees like that. I was just rotating it clockwise in order to get that. We're looking for it in this position right here. Let me grab the select tool now. Bring this over here. Hold control. Snap this node into there like that. And there we go. So what I want to do next is I want to click and drag over all three of these. I want to bring the opacity back up to 100%. And now I can click off of it to deselect everything. Now what I want to do is color these in whatever color I'd like them to be. So I'm going to use, I'm going to go with shades that I used for the, uh, the thumbnail of the uh, video here. I'm going to click on this object right here and I'll make this like a shade of brown. I'll click on this one. I'll make this orange like that. And I'll take this top one and I'll make this like a light, like a, like a khaki or cream, cream light color like that. And maybe I'll make this a little more orange. I think that's good enough right there. So we'll leave that as that is. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to click and drag over all three of these. And I'm going to hold Alt and click and drag. And then we can snap it right into each other like that. And what we have now is you can hold Alt and click and drag. Oops. You can do this over and over again. You can Alt click these, hold Control, and snap the nodes into each other like that to create this repeating, repeating uh, pattern here. Oops. I'm going to snap this into here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to repeat this pattern going all around the outside of the original pattern here so let me create a duplicate of this I'll snap that in there again I'm just holding control and snapping the node into the corner there just to make sure that it's uh, it's it's fit in there snug and properly like that okay that looks good one more And what we should end up with here is like this uh, sort of like kind of looks like a beehive, like a honeycomb sort of uh, pattern where we have the original design here in the center and then copies of the design going all around the outside. And once we've done that, I'm going to grab the, uh, I'm going to click and hold on the uh, polygon tool so we can get the rectangle tool. And I'm going to take the foreground color. Let me double click that. I'm going to make this to something much different than whatever it is we have on the screen here. So I'm going to go with like a uh, green go ahead and click OK and I'm gonna come over here to this top left object over here the center corner I'm gonna start the rectangle I'm gonna to snap to that corner and then I'm gonna click and drag and I'm gonna finish the design going to this bottom left corner over here right about there that's what I'm looking for let me bring the opacity of that down a little bit so we can see what's going on through there right there let me grab the select tool now everything inside of that green box is what we want to keep we want to get rid of everything outside of it and what's going to happen is, is that's going to give us a single tile that we can repeat in a rectangle shape infinitely and maintain that pattern so let me show you what i mean here i'm going to click and drag over all of these objects i'm going to grab the shape builder tool which is uh, over here and I'm going to hold Alt and I'm just going to click and drag through all of the objects going outside of that green box over there. I want to delete everything outside of that. Everything outside of that green box is gone. You may have to get these stray objects out here like that. And what I will do now is let me go to the select tool. Let me click off of that to deselect everything. I'm going to create a selection going just under the bottom of the object here because we're going to get these stray objects that shouldn't be there. Those are just mathematical errors. It's not something, it's not anything wrong with the actual design we made. I'm going to do the same thing on each of the dimensions here. I'll come over here to the right side. I'll come up here to the top. Nothing over there. And it looks like we don't have anything over here either. All right, so we're good to go. I'm going to take this green box now and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And what I could do now is I could take this, these objects right here. I'm going to group them together by pressing Control G on the keyboard. 
And if I bring this to the top left corner, what I could do is I can hold Alt. I can actually click and drag and hold Alt, and then hold Shift, and then snap it onto the bottom there, and then press Control D to repeat that process. And as you can see, we're creating this repeating pattern here. Now to zoom in and out, I'm just holding Alt and rolling up and down the mouse wheel. To pan the page around, I'm pressing down the space bar and clicking and dragging on the mouse. And what I'll do is I'll create duplicates of these as well. I'll click and drag these while holding Alt and Shift, snap them right next to each other like that, and repeat that process over again by pressing Control D. And you should get the idea. So that's how you can take uh, this, you can create this geometric pattern from a single rectangle like this. And what you can do now is you can take this individual rectangle and you can export that as a .png or a JPG image and you could set this as the background of a website or, a, or an application or maybe you're designing like a large uh, brochure or a trade show banner or something or whatever it is that you're designing. You could take a single tile and repeat it infinitely and get this geometric pattern. So that's how you can go about doing that with Adobe Illustrator. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.